welcome me if you want to activate the Z Fold 5. If we see this hello screen, we need to get the activation started. So if you have any accessibility features, tap on this icon and then turn on any accessibility need you have. Otherwise, let's tap on the blue button here. It's going to ask for your region. So just select your region. And then it's going to ask us to agree to the EULA. So you want to tick this one. You see here, agree to sending data. That's optional. So you don't have to tick that one. And so let's agree. Set up with another device. Uh, this is optional. You can do this later. So I'm going to select set up manually. Otherwise, help the device you have and follow the instructions. Connect to Wi-Fi. So this is a good time to insert your SIM card, uh, mainly because the next screens it is going to activate the Z Fold 5. So if you just want to make sure that your phone is not SIM locked, then activate here. If you have eSIM, you can set it up at a later step. I'm going to set up my Wi-Fi network as well quickly. So there we go, it's asking to connect to mobile network. So you actually have a lot of options. If you haven't inserted your SIM card already, scan QR code, that is to activate your eSIM. Transfer SIM from another device, that can convert a physical SIM card on your old phone into eSIM, or get the eSIM from your old phone to your new phone. But keep in mind, not all devices are going to support this transfer feature. And so I'm going to select set up later in settings. I'm going to insert my SIM card. I'm not going to do that now. If you don't set up your SIM before this screen, then just keep in mind, if you insert your SIM card later, your phone may deactivate if the SIM card is locked. Uh, but if you just remove the SIM card, it would... You know, go back to normal. So if you see this screen, copy apps and data. And then afterwards, we should see the Google account. That means that the phone has been activated successfully. There's no locks you need to worry about. Um, you know, no Google account you need to enter. Nothing you need to enter. So we don't see any Google account. Um, it's asking us to add our own. Great. Activated. No errors about the SIM card, that's great. Uh, one more thing is after the Google, let's just check it, it doesn't ask for the Samsung login. So that is the next screen here, after this one. Oh, for oh, son of... Does Samsung have a lock? Let's pick that out. Oh, yeah, Uh, once you get to this screen here, if you have the option to sign into your own account, it's not asking you to enter in someone else's account, then that's great. If it hasn't asked for your um, SIM card to be changed, you know, it's not given an error saying that the uh, SIM card is locked and the network isn't supported, that's great, you activated. If you get to the Samsung account screen and it hasn't asked you for anyone else's details yet, then congratulations, your Z Fold 5 is activated.
there's no previous owner locks you need to worry about there's no sim locks you need to worry about so that's going to be it here just follow the on-screen instructions uh, to get to the home screen and uh, with that being said if you'd like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye